Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leia and thank you so much as always for being here. So you're probably wondering why I'm here. It is currently Monday and I told you guys in my last video I was going to work on Monday. However, I had like a change of schedule. I know you guys all know what's going on with the airline industry. Things are canceling like crazy. Everything is kind of like unknown. And last minute, last night, cruise scheduling ended up canceling my trip. So I'm technically supposed to report tomorrow now, which is Tuesday the 31st. So I thought I'd use the time to film this uh, makeup tutorial for you guys. I still love makeup. Makeup is a huge passion of mine and anything that I can do to do my makeup for the day makes me super, super happy. And oh my gosh, I loved how this turned out. I had a little bit of lipstick on my teeth, <laughs> but purple is one of those colors that is awesome for brown eyes. They just make them pop and it's just so beautiful and Man, I didn't know going into this what exactly I was going to use, but I'm really, really, really loving the result. This is one of those looks like I will do this again. I love this and I will do it again. I know yesterday I tried a purple uh, eye look and I liked it, but it did crease a lot for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but for today I did use um, Fix Plus to make the lid shade a little bit more vibrant and I really, really enjoyed how it looked. And this shade is just, gosh, it's so gorgeous. So anyways, guys, if you really would love to see this, I would love to have you here. And please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I think that's all I have to say for now. I am supposed to go to work tomorrow, but I actually looked at my schedule just a little bit ago and I actually have already had other things canceled. So I don't even know what my work schedule looks like this coming week but we will find out. I'll find out probably a little bit later today what I'm actually gonna be doing for tomorrow or the next two days because I'm technically still good for three days. My original trip was a four day trip and regardless of what cancels, what's not, you're still good for those four days. So now I'm still good for three. So I'm gonna be flying, I just don't know what. But enough of me rambling. I really hope you enjoy this makeup look. Um, I'm kind of going like this because I have a little bit of a stain on my white shirt. So I'm trying to cover it up so you guys don't see it and judge me. <laughs> Anyways guys, I love you so much and let's get into the video. Alright, so let's get started. This is the Anna palette from the Frozen 2 collection with Colourpop. And I'm just using Wind and Fearless. I'm mixing them together and this is going to be my transition shade. For this look, I always like to start off with a neutral tone brown to kind of blow out in the crease. I do get a little bit messy with this. Um, you don't have to go straight into the crease. I like to bring it like above the brow bone. And then I'm going to go in in the Marvelous Mauves palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take Rosy and Wishy Washy. And that's what I'm going to put directly into our crease area. And again, all you're doing is back and forth motions, like winter wiper motions. Again, you guys know how to blend. You probably see a lot of makeup tutorials like I do or used to. I don't watch any more like I used to. I was a really fanatic back in the day. <laughs> but don't forget to do both eyes. And again, this is just going directly into the crease. I'm not going as high as I did the first shade. Now, this is the shade called Spaced Out. And I'm pretty much now starting to build that outer V. And I will be laying another color on top of it, but I want it to be as dark as possible. So I figured I will lay like two colors together. Now this is just going again below the crease and I bring it in all the way kind of like to the center of the lid and I start creating that outer V shape. I'm pretty much just going and blending out until I feel like I get my desired look. I know this color is not going to get any darker, but I just want to make sure I get the desired blendability that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to layer um, Wine Stain on top of that, which is the darkest shade in this uh, palette by Dose of Colors. I do love these little uh, palettes that they did come out with. This is the only one I have, but I do want to get more. I think they're like a really cool concept of like, you know, the same family of colors starting from the lightest to the darkest. And again, I'm taking wine stain and I'm just going 
over all the work that I did with Spaced Out. Okay, now we're going in with the Party Animal Palette from the Laura Lee Los Angeles Little Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the shade Hung Over, and oh my goodness, I absolutely love this shade. And I'm like, oh my god, Leia, why haven't you used this before? This shade is bomb AF, and I definitely will be using it, like, a lot more in the future. It's such a pretty lid shade, especially when you, like, uh, put some flick, uh, flicks, <laughs> fix plus on it. It just, gosh, it's so vibrant, and it's so, like, electric. I don't know. It's just the best shade. It gives you that pizzazz and that great pop of color. And I only did this eye but obviously I'm gonna do both and I'm kind of just going back in and blending um, making sure there's no harsh lines always kind of do that back and forth back and forth with all your previous colors now that pretty much completes the eyes for now I will go back later and do the lower lash line I am losing the Lancome I don't even know how to say this foundation name I think it's in French but it will be in the description box um, as my foundation and then I'm gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and I didn't want to spend too much time on my foundation and concealer so I kind of speed it up a little bit because it gets kind of boring and then this is just my Maybelline Fit uh, Me Powder. It's the loose version and it's what I use to bake my under eye area and pretty much any area where I feel like I get oily or where like the sun hits so I kind of go a little bit on my smile lines, my chin, and then my forehead. And this is just a MAC powder, and I'm going to dust away all that loose powder and then also powder the areas in which I didn't put loose powder. I like a pretty uh, powdered look, to be honest. It's kind of like my thing. And as the day goes on, you do start, like, getting oily anyways. And then this is just the Benefit Hoola Bronzer and Caramel. And I'm using it on a blush brush. It's from, like, Coastal Scents. It's really, really old, but I like it. And... Please, guys, be really careful with this uh, bronzer. It is so, like, pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. You can get out of control real, real quick with this bronzer. So please go in light-handed and just blend as much as you can because you don't want it to look, like, super harsh or, like, a big old puddle of, like, mud on your face. Okay, now to contour my face today, this is actually a blush from MAC, and it's called Harmony, but it's that, like, perfect ashy brownish tone. I think it's made for, like, dark skin, a blush for dark skin, and I absolutely love it to contour, so I'm just going to take the NARS Eda brush and go ahead and carve out my contour, and I'm going to use uh, that same brush to do a little bit of nose contour as well, so... If you guys haven't checked out this color, again, it's a blush. It's in the blush section. And then this is just a translucent powder from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to use it to kind of like carve out my contour even further to make it a little bit more sharp and less muddy. And I'm going to run it through the bridge of my nose. I usually do that because I feel like it cleans it up really, really well. And then this is good old MAC Melba. Again, um, love this blush. It is a true OG I don't know, MAC makes some super staple products that I love and I know lots of people love. It's, you know, it's MAC and it's been around forever and it's made for artistry and they're just beautiful. And then with my Real Techniques uh, blush brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dust away all that bakeage. I don't like for it to bake that long. And then I'm going to go in with highlight and this is just Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It's that pretty light gold, like, sparkly goodness and it's not even sparkly it's just it's really really good highlight there's no glitter in it it's really finely like milled if that's even what I'm trying to say <laughs> but it's such a good highlight and I really like the color I love it on my skin tone and it's another true OG I've also stated in this in previous videos I love to use the same highlight I use on my face to highlight like my uh, brow bone area and I also like to use the same highlight to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And I went ahead and zoomed you in a little bit so we can go ahead and finish uh, the lower lash line. I went ahead and just took this uh, shade Wine Stain. And I'm kind of just packing that on 
um, really, really close to like my lower lash line. And I don't know if you noticed, but I am starting to get fallout because that color is, you know, super, super pigmented, super, super dark. So what I normally do is exactly what you're seeing. I'm putting a little bit of a layer of translucent powder. So now when I go in and try to pack that dark pigment of a color, if there is fallout, it falls on that translucent powder. So when you're ready to like dust it off, all of it comes off and you don't like mess up your concealer or your foundation. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back in with rosy and wishy-washy and I'm going to blow out that lower lash line. It kind of just, you know, blends out that harsh color and it makes it look like really pretty, really unison with what we have on the top. So I'm trying to just stay with the same uh, family of colors. And then this is again a uh, hungover from the Laura Lee palette. And I went ahead and put a little bit kind of just in the center. I wanted to give it that little bit of pop on the bottom as well just because I really, really enjoyed this color. So I thought I would hit it on the bottom a little bit um, as well. And right here again, I'm just dusting off all that powder and thank goodness we ended up putting that translucent powder so I don't have to go back and correct all the work I already did with my foundation and concealer. Now this is just the Inglot number 77 gel liner. It's the only one I really use. It's my favorite. Um, I do like the Maybelline one from the drug, uh, drugstore. That one is really good too. I'm pretty much just putting this into my waterline and I'm actually also going to tightline. Now I'm just using a regular black coal. I don't really like uh, black uh, liners. So what I use it as is like a tool. I use it as a tool for the gel liner. And this is just a mascara. I'm just putting a thin coat because I am going to be putting some false lashes. Doesn't matter what my mascara you use. You just want them to blend in with your lashes. And then these are the Tarte with the Lily Pons uh, collection collaboration. I don't think they sell anymore. And I want to find a pair that's very, very similar because I love the way they look. And I'm going to write them out until they tear. <laughs> And then right here, all I'm doing is just uh, kind of putting some like black liner on to kind of like cover any imperfections I have or any like stained makeup that I have on my lashes. And then this is just again the NYX um, Cosmetics. It's the like brow tinted gel and I always make sure I set my brows and I love bushy brows so the bushier the better. And I always like stroke up, like stroke the brows up. And then with the same mascara, I'm going to go ahead and put some on my lower lash line. Like my lower lash lashes. Now this step is totally unnecessary, but I went ahead and took the Hourglass Ambient uh, Powders. This is Ethereal Light, and I'm using it just to brighten up my under eyes. I felt like sometimes when you have a really dark eye, it can start getting like dark like your skin type. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that underneath my eyes to kind of give it a little bit of a brightening effect. And I really like this powder a lot, a lot, a lot. But you could definitely find some from the drugstore as well because this one is a little bit pricey. And I just did, again, the inner corners of my eyes with that same Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And we're going to go straight into lips. Now this is the Urban Decay uh, Naked 2 Liner, and I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this pencil. I always do a uh, extensive lip routine. <laughs> lips are one of my favorite things ever, so I love, love, love doing my lips. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and line them, and then I always like to fill them in. That's definitely the number one tip I can give you guys if you want your lipstick to last all day is always fill in your lips with your lip liner. And this is Nude Mood from Dose of Colors. I love this color. I think it fit really, really well. It's just a nude, but it has a little bit of a, like a peachy pink tint to it, but I'm all here for it. It matched really, really well, and I really love the formula, and I really love the color. And then this is Moon Child. It is a lip gloss uh, with ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It was a collaboration, and it is just a nude, gloss it's really really pretty and i'm just dabbing that directly into the center of my lips just to get that really super juicy look and lastly we are just going to spray some mac fix plus to finish our look all right guys that is the final look and oh my god i freaking love it i mean 
I need to play with colors more often because this is kind of hot. I kind of like this. I love that super vibrant color on the lid from this uh, Party Animal palette, the color Hungover. Um, I definitely don't like feeling hungover, but I freaking love that shade. I will say I have played with a couple uh, colors out of her palette, and that one's got to be like my favorite. I have played with this karaoke one, the damage control one, and I think I even played with Dranks, the orange one, and man, I really, really love that color, especially when I wet it with the Fix Plus. It looks just so nice on the lid, and again, I am not going anywhere today, but man, I wish I was because I really 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 like it I like the way it looks on my skin tone with my hair everything so thanks again for watching this makeup tutorial I really hope you enjoyed it whether you learned something or not or you just wanted to watch it to get some form of entertainment I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching and if my teeth look a little bit green the whole time that I was filming this I was drinking a spinach smoothie and then at the end I was like ah oh, damn it like my teeth look so green the spinach and it had avocado in it and the spinach and avocado literally like made my uh not my braces but i have uh they're called power chains because i'm towards the end of my like braces wear and they're kind of just fine tweaking a little bit here and there and so those power chains are clear and that is what was turning green so I was like huh it's gonna look so weird but I try to quickly brush a little bit with my teeth so I don't look so nasty but um anyways guys I mean it is what it is and I love you guys so much thank you for being here as always please do subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye